It's time to go over the solution to last week's weekly math challenge number 22. And we had 14 winners this time, including Bruce Wayne, who was the first person to answer the question. And we have 13 more winners. And since we have so many of them, I'm not going to recognize them individually in this video, but I will recognize them individually in the video for this week's weekly math challenge number 23. So I will recognize them in the separate video. But in this video, let's focus on solving this question, which might have been the easiest weekly math challenge yet. And the question is, the circumcircle of isosceles triangle ABC with obtuse angle A. So we know A is obtuse, so let's draw ABC like this. A, B, C, and we know angle A is obtuse, and because we have an obtuse triangle, we know the circumcenter is going to be outside the triangle. So let's draw a circle. So let's draw a circle. This is not the best circle, but I will try my best. So let's go like this, let's curve this way, and it goes through C, go back to A. This one looks reasonable. Let's keep on reading the question. And we know this circle has center O, so that's center O, and diameters AD and BE. We know they are the diameters, so let's go through the center. So AD, so AD, AD and BE, so and BE as shown. And we know AB is equal to BO, so we know AB. So AB is right here, and BO is right here. And we know area of COD, triangle COD is 9. And triangle COD is, is this triangle shown. So COD is this triangle. So let me just shade it right, right here. So let's shade it pink. So triangle COD right here, and we know the area of this triangle COD is 9. So we know the area of this area is 9. Anyway, we wish to find the area of A, B, D, C. So A, B, D, D is way below, E, C. So we wish to find the area of this pentagon. So A, B, D, E, C. And how can we? Well, from this drawing, it seems like we have five congruent triangles. It seems like, just, just by the drawing, since we tried our best to draw it as accurately as possible, it seems to be paying off. It seems like this triangle, this triangle, this triangle, this triangle, and this triangle all have the same area. And that's, and it seems like the, our answer is just going to be 9 times 5, which is 45. And indeed, this is, this is actually the answer. But of course, you have to prove it from the given fact. And a drawing, when drawn correctly and appropriately, often guides us toward the solution, but it is never the solution itself. So now let's actually try to discover the true solution. And we can just simply do so by proving that all these five triangles are congruent. So how can we? Well, from this given fact, from the fact that BO and AB are equal, we can derive a lot of equality. We know triangle ABC is isosceles. That was given. Triangle ABC was isosceles. So we know AC is, is equal to AB. We know BO has to be equal to OC because they are the they are the radiuses of the circle O or red eye of circle O, and we know AO, which is also the radius of circle O, has to be equal to BO. So we have two equilateral triangles forming right here, right away. Now, do we have any congruent triangles? Yes, we do. We have triangle ABC being congruent to triangle OBC because of SSS. They have two pairs of congruent sides right here, and they share side BC. So by side, side, side congruence, you know this triangle, triangle ABC, triangle ABC, so let's make it blue. So triangle ABC is congruent to triangle BOC. So we already have found, we already have found a congruence. We know these two triangles are congruent. Let's see if we can connect all of these five triangles this way. 
So now let's focus on triangle COD, the, this triangle, the given one right here. We know OD, let's just make a tick mark because already red here says, already red eye have one tick mark. We know, what else do we know? Well, we know AOB is equilateral triangle. So we know this angle is 60 degrees. Similarly, this angle is 60 degrees. That's telling us this angle is 60 degrees and this angle is 60 degrees using the fact that line is 180 degrees. And we have another congruent triangle OCD with OBC right here. We know triangle OBC and OCD are congruent by SAS, by side by side, angle side, by side, angle side. So we have proven that BOC and COD are congruent and we can go on. It's not very hard to continue on this way. We know triangle ACD, this triangle, not the ACD, OCD is isosceles. So that's telling us that this angle is 30 degrees and this angle is 30 degrees. Similarly, this angle is 30 degrees. And realize that BC is 90 degrees because it's subtending a semicircle. So we know this angle is 90 degrees. That's telling us that the angle is ECD. ECD is 30 degrees. And now that's telling us that triangle OCE, OCE right here is equilateral because you have 60 degrees and 60 degrees. That's telling us, that's telling us that CE is also equal to the radius of the circle. And we have it by SAS, by side, by side, angle side, side, angle side. We have triangle, we have triangle OCD being congruent to triangle ECD. So we have another congruence established right here, just using side angle side. So we know this triangle is congruent also. And finally, we wish to show that this triangle BOD is congruent to the rest of them. And that's easy to do. We know this angle. We know this angle, if my tablet starts to work, is 120 degrees using the fact that line is 180. So you know that's 120. And by SAS, you have another congruent triangle right here. So that's another congruent triangle. And in the end, we have one, two, three, four, five congruent triangles that's making up our, our pentagon. And since one of the areas of the triangle is nine, our final answer for the area of ABDC is simply nine times five or 45.